Welcome to Yankee Stadium. In a story by R.J. Anderson for CBS Sports, it was reported that the growing belief around Major League Baseball is that Freddie Freeman will not sign with the Atlanta Braves. Now, nobody knows for sure, and as John Sterling always says, you can't predict baseball, Susan. But it was definitely a shock that Atlanta failed to re-sign Freeman before the lockout began. In the article, longtime baseball reporter Buster Olney is quoted as saying that there's a growing belief that Freeman will land outside of Atlanta. And the article quotes another executive that says the Braves are going to move quickly to fill first base so that this conversation doesn't linger. In the event that Freeman is a free agent, this really would present the Yankees with an opportunity to keep some of their valued prospects while also accomplishing a number of their offseason objectives. This would get them another left-handed bat. They need more lefties in the lineup. Adding a strong contact hitter. Freddie Freeman's one of the best contact hitters in Major League Baseball. He has 30 home run power. They didn't have a ton of power last year. And they would add an excellent defensive first baseman as well. And the thing about an excellent defensive first baseman is that they can improve every single infielder on the diamond by picking those bad throws out of the dirt. I ran a Twitter poll, and right now it's 50-50 as to who wants Freeman and who wants Olsen. I want to know from you guys what you think in the comments. Apologies to Anthony Rizzo, who got exactly as many votes as I did to be the Yankees' first baseman. Let's take a look at Freeman's baseball savant page, and what you'll see is all kinds of red dots. He's way above average in exit velocity, max exit velocity, the percentage of balls he hits hard, his expected batting average, and he doesn't strike out much, the 86th percentile of the league. His speed is about average, but compared to most first basemen, that's fast. The outs above average stat is a defensive metric, and he ranks in the 82nd percentile, so top 18% in the league. Now, just to recap, Freddie Freeman is 32 years old and is likely looking for a six-year deal. That might seem a little bit long on the first glance, but he's so good that he's really going to improve you over the next few years, even if at the back end of that contract, it's not as good of a deal. He doesn't get you over the top, but he would be a big piece that would help the Yankees out in a number of key areas. And again, it only costs money, no prospects. Lockout sounds like it's starting to wind down. You're going to see more of these rumors coming out. Hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any updates when the hurricane of activity begins in the next few days. For those of you just joining after a long winter, thank you for 6 million views on the channel. Looking forward to a great season. I'll see you next time.